Hey there guys, welcome back to AFC Game by Game. This is my review of Arsenal's resounding 4-0 victory at the Liberty Stadium against Swansea City this afternoon. Once again, we're talking about a game of two halves. That first half from Arsenal, that opening 45 minutes was absolutely shocking. Again, so slow to start, so lethargic, so lacklustre. We look like a team that is so arrogant going into a game, assuming we'll get chances, assuming the 19th place Swansea will roll over for us. It simply wasn't the case. Swansea, I think it's fair to say, for that opening 20-25 minutes, started the stronger side. They weren't having a lot of chances. You can see how they have struggled to score goals this season. But I think we defended well throughout the course of the match. It's good that we finally got our first clean sheet in God knows how long. Mustafi, uh, Mustafi I think, played really well at centre-half alongside Laurent Koscielny, who was absolutely superb throughout the course of this match. Gabriel deputised really well once again at right back. Swansea seemed to target Nacho Monreal, who I thought dealt with the threat of uh, Dyer, uh, Norton very well throughout the course of this game. It was a very solid performance from the back four in general. Petr Cech had a good game as well, but for the most part didn't have a lot to do, especially in that second half where we really did take this game by the scruff of the neck. A couple of changes in the Arsenal side. Um, as I say, Gabriel came in at right back. I thought he did very well there. Uh, we saw... Um, a lot of changes were made. We saw Iwobi, Ozil and Alexis line up behind Olivier Giroud. Now... That front, front, that front three behind it, uh, playing behind Olivier Giroud, I thought that worked very, very effectively throughout the course of this match. Personally, I would have rather seen Lucas play as opposed to Alex Iwobi, but fair play to Iwobi. He was involved in quite a few of the goals today. He had an excellent performance, in my opinion, definitely showing why he merits a start on this Arsenal team. Uh, Perez didn't really do much when he came into the game, but it was good to see him come on along with Danny Welbeck. But it was a very effective front four. It's just a shame that we couldn't really control the game in that first half in the way that we did throughout the course of the second half. We looked a lot more effective, I think, when Olivier Giroud came off the pitch. And yes, granted, he got his goal. I do still prefer the playing style where we have Alexis playing at centre forward. We have two very pacey wingers alongside him. The creative influence of Mesut Ozil playing in behind. That's just my opinion. I think it works a lot more to our favour and it works to our strength. We saw throughout the start of the season, how how effective that was for us and how well it worked. I think if we were, were to go back to playing that now, it would play into the hands of Alexis Sanchez, who seemed to throw a strop at the end of the game, but I'll get on to that a little bit later. Um, in my opinion, that works a lot better for us, and I think that may be the reason why we're starting games so slowly, because we don't have the influence of Alexis playing in that striking role. Giroud, as much as I love him and as much as I, I value his, his worth to the team, I do feel that when we start games with him, he uh, he does kind of slow down uh, slow slow down our performance. But I don't think that's um, that's a negative uh, at times. I think that can work to our favour. In the past nine games, he started for us. I think he scored in every single one, but. He's proven as well that he's very, very, very influential off the bench. A great impact sub and also a great option to have starting games. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with him starting games here and there, um, you know, if we were regularly playing with Alexis up top. It's, again, it's two fantastic options to have. Um, but as I say, going back to my personal preference is with Alexis playing in that sense of forward role. But I won't stick on to the topic of that for too long because Olivier Giroud did get his goal today. It took a long time to come and it wasn't the most beautiful of goals, but he did put it in the back of the net. Right place at the right time. Really good build up to the goal, actually through uh, Mesut Ozil and Aaron Ramsey, who I thought played well today. A uh, really good ball through, through, from uh, Ozil into the path of Ramsey, put it across goal. Giroud probably should have scored in that instance, but the ball came back into the box through Alexis Sanchez. Bit of turmoil with the Swansea defence, and Olivier Giroud was on hand to put it into the back of net to make it 1-0 to the Arsenal. It was a goal that you know, I wouldn't say we necessarily deserved. We hadn't done a lot in this game, but we really seemed to kick on from there. Going out to that second half looked a lot more competent. We looked a lot more uh, dangerous in the game. Awobi being uh, involved in the second goal that we scored, it will go down as a core goal goal but I won't be heavily influencing it a shot which um, just seemed to loop over uh, Lucas Fabianski the ex-Arsenal man of course who really struggled in this game um, unfortunately making it to well unfortunately unfortunately for Lucas Fabianski um, making it 2-0 to Arsenal and then Again, not long after that, Wobi involved once again, putting a ball into a very dangerous area. Again, not the most glamorous of goals, but I'll take it any day of the week to make it 3-0. And then after that, Alexis Sanchez makes it 4 with uh, what was a very cool, calm, instinctive finish to make it 4-0 to the Arsenal. Um, and that's when we saw him taken off the pitch along with Maza Ozu. And uh, yeah, I mean... It's a, it's a fantastic win, 4-0, but you can guarantee the headlines will be dictated by Alexis Sanchez throws a strop, which um, 
you know, he did in a way, and it is a little bit petulant from him. As much as I love the guy, as much as I want him to stay at Arsenal, just behave like a professional. Uh, we're, we're winning the game 4-0. You don't need to be on the pitch. It's not all about you. Wenger's done the right thing. He's taken you off with about 15 minutes to go. You need a rest or you're going to get injured. Just don't throw a strop. You've got your goal. What more do you need? You're the top scorer in the Premier League, for God's sake. Um, as I say, it's not all about you, Alexis Sanchez. Uh, but yeah, 4-0 away from home. Paul Clement's first game in charge, he certainly won't be happy about that, but I think there are certain positives that he can take looking at this Swansea side. They did control the game in that opening 20 minutes, but when we finally got into our rhythm, it was simply overwhelming from us. But Swansea, I mean, they... they um you know, Paul Clement really has got a, a, a horrific task on his hands to keep them up because they do look pretty awful. Uh, but I think he did the right thing um, in a way. You know, you look at their team with the likes of Key, who made an awful dive in this game but can be a, a, an internal player. Just once you look at Key, you look at Sigurdsson, you look at Dyer, Routledge, Lorente, if they can keep hold of him this uh, this January transfer window. They have got a load of attacking options. And um, if they were to be playing that lineup against a team like like Hull, like... Um, like like uh, whoever in the Premier League, a team that they're capable of beating, then I think that they, they can get some points on the board and they can stay up. But personally speaking, I wouldn't mind seeing Swansea go down as we have struggled against them in the past. But um, yeah, 4-0 away from home. We've got Burnley next weekend. Um, and that should be uh, hopefully another resounding win at home. A lot of positives to take from today. But as has the case been for the past couple of games, we need to start faster because um, better teams will punish us. We were coming up against 19th place Swansea. Let's not forget that. Anyway, guys, please do drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to AFC Game by Game if you're new to the channel. And as always, I'll be speaking to you very, very soon.